I'm so excited to be joining you on this journey through the book of Jeremiah that we're going to be taking on in the next six weeks together. And what I love about Jeremiah is that he struggled just like you and me. Some commentators call him the most psychological of the prophets and the most interesting as a man. But I'll tell you, it's because he's like a girl. <laughs> he does some girlish whining in the book. He's honest. And I love that about him. But he struggled. There's a long list of things. He is referred to as the weeping prophet. Because when he began to proclaim these messages from the Lord, he was rejected by his family. His father was a priest. He was from a suburb of Jerusalem, a small town in Anathoth. And when he began to boldly say, God is calling us to surrender, it wasn't popular. It wasn't good for morale. And as he continued to obey God, even the government arrested him, had him beaten. At one point, there was a king that had him lowered down into a cistern. A cistern is this hewn out of a rock, a big hole they used to collect rainwater. And this particular cistern had dried up quite a bit, so the bottom was full of mud and sludge. So we talk about sometimes feeling like we're in a pit. Jeremiah really was <laughs> in a pit. And on those days, I think it was hard to be hopeful. Yet he penned the words in Lamentations. He wrote the book of Jeremiah, but he also wrote the book of Lamentations. It's his lament. And he wrote in chapter 3, verses 21 to 23, these words, yet I still dare to hope when I remember this. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. That's why we can be daring with hope. 